Mike, thank you. And looking ahead, here's something you don't want to miss. This Sunday night, the moon will glow a deep red color during a total lunar eclipse. And meteorologist Alex O'Brien joins us to share what you can expect during this rare occasion. Alex. Well, Allison, you can see this event from your front porch, but you can also see this really awesome astronomical event at the Cheyenne Mountain State Park. This weekend, the Earth will pass directly between the moon and the sun, creating a lunar eclipse. The penumbra is the slight shadow when the Earth begins to block some of the light coming from the sun. And then just like turning off a light, the moment that the Earth completely blocks the sun from the moon's perspective becomes the umbral or total solar uh, lunar eclipse. At that point, the moon is completely dark. It glows red because of the Rayleigh scattering, that is to say, the light that is scattered through our atmosphere, bent around the Earth, and illuminates the moon. This weekend's eclipse will begin at 827 on Sunday night. The total eclipse will happen between 923 and 1053. It will be complete by 1155. For an extra cool experience, the Colorado Springs Astronomical Society is hosting an event at the Cheyenne Mountain State Park. The event is free after state park admission. It's happening from 8 p.m. to midnight on Sunday. And we're going to have about 20 different telescopes set up to observe not only the moon, but other things of interest in the sky as well. We'll have one telescope at least dedicated to just letting people take their uh, smartphones and take a picture of the eclipse. A unique view of the moon you don't want to miss. When it's full, you can't see anything. It's just too blindingly light. But in an eclipse, you can see mountains, you can see craters. With this telescope, for example, you can see things down to about a half a mile across. And whether your view is with the naked eye or from a telescope, but it is still a hauntingly beautiful thing. Lunar eclipses and, and solar eclipses in human history have played amazing roles in terms of the superstitions of the time, omens of good, omens of evil. And so to see a, a lunar eclipse uh, through a modern telescope and be able to almost touch that moon is a remarkable experience, and I encourage everyone to take advantage of it. Also at this event will be the Mezzo vehicle, which is the Mobile Earth and Space Observatory. All the info on this event and what times this lunar eclipse will be visible are on our website right now at koaa.com. In Colorado Springs, meteorologist Alex O'Brien, News 5.